Talat Massoud. He is a former Pakistani general. Thank you so much for speaking to us. First of all, before we become too alarmist, Thank what do you, you think is the likelihood of a nuclear war between India and Pakistan actually happening? Well, I think it's very unlikely uh, because uh, both the countries realize the consequences of a nuclear war. And uh, what would they really achieve by uh, engaging in a conflict which starts off with a conventional and then leads to a nuclear conflict? Uh, I think it would be disastrous. And I, you know, despite the fact that there is an extreme tension at the moment because of the policies that India is pursuing as far as Kashmir is concerned, and also not talking to Pakistan for the last uh, more than one year now. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I don't think uh, the situation uh, would go to that extent as to uh, have a nuclear conflict. Uh, of course, uh, there has been talk of that, and uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan, uh, during his speech at the UN, did mention that these countries are nuclear uh, countries uh, and they need to resolve their problems peacefully and through dialogue. Uh, but I think that was only to say that the potential, of course, uh, it does exist uh, and uh, cannot be completely ruled out. And uh, okay. there can be also incidents and accidents uh, which might lead to some sort of a uh, nuclear conflict. But that is most unlikely and would not be done as a uh, sort of a pursuit by the two governments. So it is very unlikely. And you have to ask the question, what is the point? of having these weapons, and I mean spending billions of dollars on their development in countries that suffer from dire poverty, if they're not going to be used and only reinsure, or ensure rather, the mutual uh, destruction of their populations if they are used. You are very right, but the fact is that the logic goes like this that Pakistan says that it has its nuclear weapons. It started, it did not have any desire to have nuclear weapons. It only acquired nuclear weapons. It developed them because India did so. Because it was not possible, then India would have blackmailed Pakistan and would have sort of imposed its hegemony. And that is why it developed its nuclear capability. On the other hand, India thinks that because uh, it's a matter of prestige, and also it's a matter of countering China and other countries that it must develop a nuclear capability because it thinks that those countries which, had, uh, which have nuclear power uh, are given a certain position and status in the world. This is how, okay. y you know, one country after the other, and now nine countries have got the nuclear power, but hopefully uh, there will not be another tenth. Right. So, but you say, I mean, uh, nuclear war between the two is highly unlikely, but because of the situation, as you mentioned, in Kashmir, uh, we've heard threats of war, particularly from Pakistan. So if it doesn't employ nuclear weapons, what, what form of war, I hate to ask this question, could the Pakistan conflict take? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the... Um, Pakistan, of course, uses the nuclear as a deterrent uh, in the sense that if India were to make an aggression against Pakistan and would like to impose its will or hegemony, then certainly Pakistan uh, says that, you, you know, the nuclear capability is going to be used in some form in the sense that uh, this will not permit India to sort of uh, hegemonize Pakistan or impose its will on Pakistan. But I hope that situation would not arise. And uh, although uh, ever since this Kashmir problem has arisen, uh, there is a, a great tension between India and Pakistan, even before that, because uh, Prime Minister Modi sees, uh, refuses to talk to Pakistan. And this has been the situation for more than a year between India and Pakistan. And uh, nuclear powers, uh, as we have witnessed in the past uh, you know, several years and decades between, say, US, U.S. and Russia, they've been talking despite the fact that they have great differences. And that is extremely important that uh, nuclear countries must engage in dialogue if they are responsible nuclear powers. But India okay. refuses to engage in dialogue. Talat Masood, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Islamabad.